Good morning. Ooh. How are you this morning? Welcome back to Motivation and Muscles with Maya. I am your host, Maya. I am on spring break. Thank you, Lord. All this week I'm off. Um, however, I challenged my boss to a um, a squat challenge every single day, body weight squats, just squats 100 per day starting yesterday, which was Monday, the first day of spring break. Um, yeah. She keeps me accountable with my work. I hold her accountable with her uh, fitness goals. So, yeah. I am. It's a beautiful day. It is the what is today's day? The 29th. It is what 927. And I am, am up and out. I am going to head to the belt line um, here in Atlanta to do about five miles. Um, and I'm praying that I can find a good parking spot and that there are not too many people down here. I am going to treat myself to a Starbucks coffee. Um, there is a Starbucks midway, so I'm super excited about that. Yesterday, I'm gonna tell you, I slept all day, literally. I didn't get out of my clothes. Yeah, I, I was just in the bed all day yesterday, but today, your girl is getting out to get this, this exercise in. Didn't go to the gym this morning because my trainer is having a colonoscopy prayers out to Anthony I'm sure he'll be fine but he will be back in the gym tomorrow so um, I am gonna go ahead and get a good speed walk in for five miles and that and then head home to enjoy the rest of my day my husband is off and when I left he was still in the bed so yeah I just want to get back um, how are you guys doing I hope you're doing well. I hope you're getting in your water. I hope you're getting in some form of exercise that's going to get your uh, your heart pumping. Yeah. So, I weighed in yesterday at 147. The goal is 146 by Friday. <laughs> that's the goal. I just got out of my daily devotional. And I am pumped and ready to go. When I do um, get to my good parking spot, I recently subscribed back to Audible. Instead of listening to music, um, I am going to find a book that I can listen to while I am on my walking journey today. Um yeah I need something that's gonna remind me um, of who I belong to and my purpose here on this earth and I already know that I belong to Christ period and I do know that I am here to serve you I am here to serve um, people in all sorts of you know capacities and levels um, and even though I know that, I still need to be reminded because you know what? Loving people is not easy. I talked about this just the other day. It ain't easy. It ain't for the faint hearted. You're going to get those people who are just mad um, and mean for, to me, no reason. But we all know everybody has a story, right? So the biggest part of my mission is to not just to love the people who are easy to love, but to love those who ain't easy to love. Um, and the thing about it is I used to be that person who would um, have a good comeback for the most part. Um, God is delivering me from that attitude. Now, what I am um, struggling with is the comeback in my head. So I may not come back in speech and say something back to someone who has offended me, but to come back in my head, working on that. God is really working with me on that. And I too 
am just being cognizant of, of my behavior when I'm around a certain someone who is hard to love. I challenge you to do the same. Um, so yeah. And maybe, just maybe along my walk, I can strike up a conversation with somebody who needs to hear about God. I don't know. We'll see. We don't know what God has in store on this walk. And I'm excited to see. I don't know if I mentioned, but I think I have my oldest daughter, who is 27 years old, has made it here. She's been here for, I think it'll be three weeks. It'll be three weeks. Um, she has her apartment. She only stayed with, with us for about a week. Uh, yeah, about a week. And then she found her own place. To God be the glory. Her place is really nice. Um, and it's just for her. And it really does my heart good to see how she and her younger sister have really just connected as adults, young adults. It just, it does my heart you know, it just, it does well with my heart. Cause boy, did they used to fight when they were younger. I used to, there was a time where I used to think, mm, these kids are never going to get along. I mean, if one has kids, boy, they, they don't, they're not going to have a babysitter because they, they hate each other, but they were just siblings and sisters. And I know nothing about that because I am the only child. Um, Yeah, I'm the only child, but I have many siblings because I serve, I have God, and I have um, many sisters and brothers in Christ, so, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do today, what are you guys about to do? Oh my goodness, the hot topic is um, the Will Smith smack that was heard around the world oh my goodness when I woke up Sunday morning I did not think it was real I thought it was staged yeah but then when he went back to his seat and he was visibly upset by the things that was said about his wife I was like yo this is not this ain't fake and this is all I have to say about this. And I know there's a lot of division, but I do believe that God is using that situation not to divide, but to teach. And I do think that there is a time for violence. I do. Even as a Christian, I do believe there is a time for violence. But I also believe that we should have discernment enough to know when to exercise that right. And that's just not for this situation. It's with all situations. We just need to, you know, I mean, the joke was not a funny joke to me. I look back, it just, it just wasn't a funny joke, right? But it was done in poor taste. If you know the history and what Jada has been um, speaking about in reference to her hair loss and alopecia it was done in, in poor taste and in poor timing, right? However, I do believe that there was enough time for Will Smith to make a different decision as to what he was going to do and how he was going to approach that situation. I do. Um, he had a few seconds of a walk. That he could have, you know, I mean, if was a fifth, we all be drunk, right? But let me quickly share how I would have handled the situation. If it was a joke about my husband, um, I, knowing who I am, I would have walked up there. Um, but it's all about making a statement. It's about being impactful. And for me, I would have walked on stage. I would have covered the mics. I would have whispered something in his ear. You know, we're going to talk later or do not today, not my wife. Okay. Um, and I would have walked back and you know what? I've had a situation like that. Um, yeah, I was in a, a, a similar 
situation where I had to basically whisper a little something in somebody's ear. Um, yeah. Thank you, Lord. There's plenty of spots. Yeah, I did. I had to... It was in a public place. I had to whisper a little something. No curse words, just... I had to use my, my power words, and I did. And you know what? It quickly diffused. The situation diffused. Because I think in that situation, he understood I was not trying to embarrass him. And yes, it was a guy. Um... I think he understood that I was not trying to embarrass him, but just trying to let him know I didn't appreciate, you know, what had just happened. So, yeah, it's just, it's a way to get someone told, right? But at the end of the day, we have to remember who we belong to, who we report to, and who we represent at all time. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, um... Yeah, I just didn't want to disrespect God, but get my point across. I just didn't want to. So. And I always say a few, you know, two things, two people I don't want to embarrass. I don't want to embarrass God. I don't. He has enough of that. <laughs> right? And I don't want to embarrass my husband. I don't want anybody coming back to my husband saying, you know, your wife was acting a whole fool. You know, yeah, I don't want that. Yeah. I just don't want that. I'm having a struggle getting these glasses on. Whatever. So, yeah. So, let me go ahead and find a good book to listen to. Get my beats on. You guys have a good day. Be productive. You know, get 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 outside a little bit if you can. I know it's um 59 degrees. So you guys have a blessed one. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a good one. Talk to you later.